So before we get in the movie, we sort of have a special treat for people. We've talked with and about, or we've talked about Rambo Mania before and the work that Matt is doing on Rambo Mania. It's, it's a really great thing that he's doing over there. And if you're a fan of Rambo, it's definitely something you need to listen to. But what we did is, um, of course, Matt's also talked about us on his show. But sitting down for this one, since we had finally connected, we thought it would be a great idea to bring Matt on to just talk about Rambo uh, 3 a little bit. And what we wanted him to focus on was the alternate scripts that were floating around for Rambo 3 and also the novelization that Rambo creator David Morell wrote. So before we get into our, our commentary, if you will, uh, our discussion of Rambo 3, let's go to the discussion we had with Matt from Rambo Mania. Matt, thank you so much for joining us to talk about uh, the scripts and the novelization of Rambo 3. Thank you, guys. This is, this is just like an honor. This is amazing. Oh, wait. excellent, excellent. So why don't you tell our listeners a little bit about Rambo Mania for those people who haven't checked out the show yet? Um, it's, it's basically just a place where Rambo fans can kind of come um, to either share you know, their Rambo art or learn about Rambo or, you know, just hang out and learn different things from the Rambo mythos. And it's not just from, like, the Stallone universe or the Stallone paradox, but it's kind of like a mishmash of all the different paradoxes in, in chronological order. All right, all right. And was that your entry point into Stallone fandom, or were you already a Stallone fan when you discovered Rambo? Um, I've been a Stallone fan since since, like, really, really, really young. Um, First Blood was probably one of the the movies I first saw that I, I took really seriously, like one of the first adult movies I saw. And I was pretty young. I was maybe, I guess, seven, somewhere mm-hmm. around there. And it just, it just hit me as such a powerful movie. And so when it came time to, you know, try and do something different, I was doing music for a long time. I decided to try my hand at podcasting, and it was just kind of a... A no-brainer that I should maybe try to do it on on something Rambo related because I was going, I was trying to like look around and I couldn't, I I could find a lot of Rambo stuff, but there was just not that one-stop shop place to go and see everything Rambo, you know. Yeah, yeah, totally, and that's what's so great about your show. I know when I was doing initial research for our our first blood and our first blood part two episode, you know, Google is what ultimately led me to find your show. And, and, and the information that you provided. And you've talked to author David Morell. Can you talk a little bit about how that interaction happened? Um, it's really cool. Uh, like, when I first started uh, working on Rambo Mania, ironically, I didn't know that there was a second or third Rambo novelization. And I was, like, looking up different things because I was going to kick it back to First Blood initially, you know, so... I remember reading that book when I was younger, so I was like, okay, that's going to be my starting point of of um, kind of reviewing First Blood and giving my take on it. And then I saw some other uh, interviews with him, and I came across uh, First Blood Part 2 and, and the Rambo 3 novelization. So I was like, oh, this, is, this is really awesome. So I ordered them right away. And then um, I, I just dove into them right away as soon as I got them. And pretty much, um, I just sent, uh, you know, I was talking to some other people who I had on the show at the time, and, and uh, they were like, you should reach out and, and try to talk to David Morrell. So I sent him a message, and uh, when his schedule cleared up, he was, uh, we were actually getting ready to do the novelization for First Blood Part 2, and he, at the same time, was getting ready to reissue uh, back in stores, First Blood Part 2. So, you know, it was a really weird coincidence, and he was like, okay, well, uh, I would like to come on and talk about it. So that's pretty much how that happened. And it was a dream come true to have that. Yeah, it, it's it's really great, and, and it's, it's great that he's so in tune with the Stallone take on the character and so accepting of it. I, I know his commentary tracks he did for the DVDs, 
you know, he speaks really highly of, of what Stallone did for the character and how he approached it. So it's good to see an author that sort of embraces that as opposed to saying, oh, they ruined my book or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And he's just really like a really, really cool guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. I, I've heard him on, on some other podcasts as well, and uh, I've read a lot of his work related to Rambo, the introductions he did for the e-versions of, uh, or the reissues, um, and I think it was really cool. I remember when I discovered the uh, a paperback version of First Blood P- Part 2 in the store, and I picked it up, and I said, wow, this is fascinating, the fact that an author would write the novelization of a sequel um, that you know, to a, a book uh, that he wrote that was turned into a movie. Very, very neat indeed. And, and, and I know I'm going to get a little scattershot here, but before we get into the, the real meat of the Rambo 3 talk I wanted to do with you, mm-hmm. way back in October here on the Slycast, we talked about Rambo Last Blood um, and how it was supposed to start filming later that month in, yeah. in uh, Louisiana. And then re- uh, today, in fact, um, as we're recording this, Stallone, I guess, officially, quote-unquote, announced that they were going to do Last Blood. And it was kind of interesting that people were, like, I guess, amazed at the fact that they they had a movie called Last Blood that was going into production. Do you have any info to share with us regarding where the production stands right now? Um, well, I, I tried to really dig down into it when, uh, when, the first, when they first kind of announced it before October, I think back in September... Um, so I, I really looked into it. Like I went on the new uh, the New Image Millennium site or Facebook page. Um, got like a map. Even went down to getting map coordinates to kind of check out where around they would be filming in the uh, in Schlavenport. Um, and I, I kind of like I even uh, submitted um, my resume to go to work as an uh, like an extra down there and all that. But um, I think I think as of now they're just they're filming Creed right, and then they're gonna delve into Rambo after. I th- I I believe like before it was supposed to be Rambo then Creed, and now it's Creed then Rambo. Yeah, and the interesting thing about that is I had seen some pictures earlier, and and I'm I'm connected to so many Stallone people on Facebook. I don't remember if it was on um who's who posted pictures of it but it was stallone looking very very sort of gaunt um and and thin for i guess creed and i guess there's rumor that there's a cancer storyline involving rocky and creed i i heard i heard that a lot yeah i heard Mm -hmm. um i heard that rocky would be dying in this movie yeah and there's been a couple of um interviews I'd, i'd say over the last 15 or 16 months where where Stallone has hinted to both killing off Rocky and and killing off Rambo. Yeah, and and that's a discussion we can we can get into um I guess um in future episodes especially when we talk about I guess Rambo 4, John Rambo whatever you want to call it and Rocky 5 which originally had Rocky dying. But the interesting thing about this cancer storyline is um, it looks like Stallone starting to train for Rambo, and as we know, when he made the last Rambo movie, he was his biggest that he's ever been on screen. So yeah. to see that he's training now makes me wonder if if his part in Creed might not be as big as we as we think. Well, well, he's been hinting at um, not not necessarily a cameo, but he's been hinting at like a very minuscule role um, with Creed. All right, so yeah, definitely. So so people uh, are definitely going to want to stay in tune with with the Rambo Mania. Uh, you put up shows almost every week, right? Yeah, I, I took a little break. <laughs> I took a little break for like a week, a week or two, just so I can get the uh, the Rambo three stuff ready because we're going to be looking at um, like an alternate, well, the original intended version of of Rambo three, and then um, the next version of Rambo three, which was kind of like the version before the movie that we saw. Right. And a couple of different other takes on it, like the TV uh, print and and um, the deleted scenes and different things like that. So, yeah, before we do that, let's make sure that people know. So uh, your show is accessible over on YouTube under the Studio Red Band heading, yes? Yeah. All right. And we'll, we'll link to that here in the uh, in the show notes. Thank you.
All right. Well, I think that was a, a perfect uh, segue there since we kind of started to get into the Rambo 3 stuff a little bit there at the end. Uh, we, we understand that you have some information about those alternate Rambo 3s that, that could have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I got the the Rambo 3 novelization, the, um, in the introduction, there's a little talk about what they were originally going to do. They were going to have David Morrell write the script. So David Morrell wrote the original first draft and sent it in. And then, you know, it, it went on for a time where they didn't really get back to him about anything. And then when he finally heard, I think it was on TV or something, he finally heard uh, that they were doing Rambo 3, pretty much the whole plot had changed. Hmm. Wow. So what did that initial Morel script look like? Um, it, it took place in, in America. Rambo was in, um, he was working on skyscrapers, and it led back to his uh, native roots a little bit more. Um, how uh, a lot of, you know, high, high-rise construction people, uh, companies would have Native Americans working there because they were good with altitudes. And it had Rambo, like, high above the city, like the introduction to Rambo, high above the city, um, where he could be alone. And, you know, working up there. And then it, it dove into this uh, really cool story with Troutman where he would be going to South America to talk about some things at the UN. And he brings his family along because they don't think it's going to be, like, that big of a deal. He brings his family along. And then, um, uh, I don't know what the right word for it. I don't want to say terrorists. I'll say extremists take over the embassy that they're at. And Troutman's wounded. The daughter is kidnapped. And uh, long story short, Rambo meets up with the wife. And uh, they they take on they take on the bad guys. Hmm. That sounds yeah. pretty uh, interesting. Now, uh, this may just be me, but I feel like there is a... Is there an alternate script for every... Rock and Rocky. Oh my goodness! Oh, every uh, Rambo installment. Um, I I know the first one had like twenty scripts or something like that. Or something. I, yeah, because every time I've tried to look it up, I mean, you can find script after script after script. Yeah, and it's just it's crazy how many directions the franchise could have gone. Mm hmm. Well, I I wanted to initially get my hands on this script once I read that premise, and and there's a part in there where it says that. Uh, eventually, one scene, we find out that Troutman's wife, you know, that Troutman taught her how to use automatic weapons. And there's like a shot where her and Rambo are coming down a corridor, gunning down people, or gunning down the bad guys. And there's explosions going on behind them and stuff. And I was just like, wow, I gotta get this. So I contacted David, and I asked him if he still had this script. And he said that, uh, unfortunately, uh, back then they didn't let them keep the scripts, and he didn't have um he didn't have a copy, and because of Coralco going uh, bankrupt, that he, you know, it, it's a really it would be really hard to find that script now. Wow, that that's amazing. That's I guess a, a holy grail um, Stallone fan find uh, if there ever is one. 